was hand it was hand in. Have you ever wondered how other people are getting ahead of you? You know? Like how are how are a whole group of people ahead of you? You know, even younger, older, it don't matter. Race, it don't matter. I'm talking about whatever you're trying to do, there's a group of people that's just way advanced, way ahead. And you may feel that you're even smarter than them. You know? And I think it's for, you know, I think it's the, you know, these are the couple of reasons that I'm going to talk about in this video. Um, and something to think about. You know, I think this this has got a lot to do with it. Is um, you know, real quick though. You know, it's been it's a lot of um, stuff that's put in your face. You know, online, TV, whatever. You know, even school, and that teaches you how to be. You know. That teaches you how to live your life, how to interact with people, you know, how to how to get what you want out of life. And since a kid, they've been grooming you, well not they, but you've been being groomed to be a certain way in life, to get what you want, to interact, to to just how to live, you know? A decent human being, right? These things that they call you know the shit that the normal way we live, and 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 all of this stuff has been put in your face, you know. And then and even the people you grew up around, it's you know the same stuff. But they grew up getting groomed by who knows who, you know, the, the powers that be to be a certain way. And you wonder why. Now this is my point. You wonder why it's a certain group that's like up here. You know, it's because they're not moving by these 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 normal tactics that these are these normal ways of being that you see on TV, the average internet space or whatever, school. They're not moving by that. Yet they may promote, hey, you know, be like that, be a good citizen, do do this or that. But behind the scenes, they moving different, man. And it's right in your face, but it's 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 disguised. You know? Kind of like the wolf in sheep's clothing type of thing, you know? So what I'm kind of getting at is like <clears throat> it's strategic ways to get over in life. You know? Many different ways that's not popular that people don't teach you know and I'm not talking about nothing bad because some people do crazy shit like you know you got some people who work with magic and black magic and stuff like that to try to alter things I'm not talking about that like you know I don't really I don't really deal with none of that but what I what I am into is self-help books. Really heavy. That's one of the reasons I started this channel. You know, because I'm I'm into self-help, self-develop, personal development, things like that. That's basically what this channel is. That's 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 my subject. If you talk about if you want to ask what subject is my YouTube channel, I'm kinda in the self-help, personal development space, right? And you know, it was a book called 48 Laws of Power that I've seen growing up. I just never read it, you know, growing up. And I got a partner who uh he kind of lived his life by it by that type, you know, that book and some other stuff. And I used to see how he moved though, you know? And he used to move very strategic. It seemed kind of weird, you know? Like he studied the human uh, body language and, and biology and, and things like that. And he would kind of know how to react and, and act 
to get things he want, to manipulate people to do what they, what he want them to do, and stuff like that. And he always had a mentality of, you know, he's up here, he's the one. You know what I mean? Me, I always been a little more humble. I never wanted to be the king, the the, the godlike figure around. I always was the one. I like playing the background, but I like pulling strings from behind the scenes type of person. You get what I'm saying? So that's how I moved, but not knowing that, hey, that was a tactic. And that's what I'm saying. When I got into the book, 48 Laws of Power, this ain't this this video is not about 48 Laws of Power, but that's a popular book, though, that teaches my point that I'm trying to make is about strategizing to get what you want, right? In life. Not just winging it. Knowing how to do stuff in life to get what you want. Persuasion, manipulation, uh, you know, strategic ways, stuff that army generals think like to win wars. You know? Yeah, okay. Um, so, little did I know that throughout my life, I was doing strategic moves. It just was natural to me. You know, I done survived through a lot of stuff. Like, you know, and my, it, it's, so it's different personality roles with this stuff. You know, like I said, my, my, my friend, my bro, he liked to be the head of the, the, the situation. So he would think of himself as a king type of person, right? So with being the king comes with a lot of responsibilities. King or queen come with a lot of responsibilities. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to really wear that hat. And subconsciously, I knew that I didn't even have the feeling of wanting to be in that position. Because I'm more into myself. I'm an introvert. You know, I don't want to deal with people. I don't want to have to guide people this way and that way physically in real life. Maybe online I like to teach and help and guide, but like in real life, I don't, I'm more to myself. You know, I'm hanging out with my family. Excuse me, when I leave the house, I'm going to work and make money. I don't even like working at a building because I don't like being around people so much. That's the main reason I don't go back to a certain type of job where I got to be around people all the time. That's not me. So saying that to say, I, I naturally picked my personality position is I'm kind of like a underboss type of person. You know what I'm saying? When I used to be hustling in the streets, you know, me and my cutty, you know, you know, me and my cutty, my bros, my cutty, he was like the the head honcho type person. And he naturally just played that position because he naturally has those qualities. Me, naturally, I didn't even, I didn't, I don't have those types of qualities in the streets to be that type of person because I didn't want to deal with people so much, right? Like I go sell my own stuff really or whatever. I didn't want to have a, a group of people who I got to, mold and shape into this and worry about and teach and hope they don't tell on me and I didn't like that I liked it to do stuff by myself but me being part of a you know a hood organization like you know I got a duty to to be linked in with my bros you know what I'm saying from the same area so we would move together as a unit most times and um my position, I did not, you know, as you know, as a hustler or whatever. At my position in the streets, really, like you know, is kind of like more like a uh, behind the scenes. I don't know if you know anything about like uh, Cash Money Records, Baby, Lil Wayne, Baby, you know, Hot Boys, all that old school shit. But you know, Cash Money, goddamn, uh, <laughs> Baby, right? It's somebody named Slim. Who was baby's brother, I think. Uh Birdman. Y'all probably know Birdman. Slim is behind the scenes. I'm 
I'm over here talking like y'all live under a rock. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Slim is behind the scenes, though. You don't even see Slim. That's me. I'm that type of dude in the streets. Like, you feel me? Coming up, I'm always on the scene. But growing up, I kind of played the back end. The back, pause. I played the back getting bread without even being that popular dude that's like, oh, he out here getting it. I, I'm not that dude to everybody. Unless you see me pushing through my fly whip, like, oh, where you get that from? Type shit. <laughs> but it's like, I naturally took this position because I'm naturally an introvert. And my point is, you gotta know how to, this is how you get what you want from knowing your personality. Right? Take a personality test. I took one, like, I took a few of them in my life, but I just took one another, like, last week or some shit. And it said I'm 100%. I answered everything truthfully, right? It said I'm 100% introvert, and I'm an adventurer type person. And that's, it made me think, damn, that's why I'm working the type of job I'm working, like, independent work, you know? I can travel around, um... You know, I'm not confined in one place. That's my type of job. But see, this, all right, so this is, uh, this is what the, this is kind of like, I don't want to get too, like, everywhere with it and stuff like that. But, like, I figured out in life kind of, like, how to get what I want and how to make people do what I want them to do. You know, while being myself. You know, everybody different. But you, like, certain, it's certain stuff you could do, like, for one, don't, don't tell people your real moves. Right? Like, don't tell nobody stuff like that. Throw people off. Right? Like, oh, you know, you might see somebody like, hey, what you been up to, you know? They might ask you what you've been up to. If it been good, you've been doing doing something that's working for you, that's doing good. You know, tell them, oh, you know, I ain't really been doing much. <laughs> you know what I mean? Play like, maybe play like, you know, you're not really up to nothing much, you know what I mean? But what you up to? Put the, put the spotlight on them. Don't let people in your business. And don't show your... Don't show your hand. Right? Because there's some people out here who, man, they do a lot of talking. And some of the talking they do, they give it a valuable information. And, you know, if somebody was out to, you know, uh, bring them down somehow, they got all action to. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and Or they can they can kind of jump in a position and like if I told you a move I was about to make and you had all the you had all the uh, the things you need to make that move you could jump in front of me and make that move before me and scoop me out some type of way so to speak so this is why it's like generals do this shit like use propaganda this is what they do to us psychological warfare all of this shit is smoking mirrors that you see on online a lot of this shit is smoking mirrors man you know these dating shows uh and i'm not saying that they the dating shows is literally the people who created it is like up to something no i'm talking about stuff that gets pushed out to the public to the masses yeah it's good people want to watch it it's good but the, the a lot of the stuff that gets pushed out it's smoky mirrors because they're not they're not the powers that be whoever that's trying to stay on top they don't want you to know certain information and that's just smart from their point of view like I'm not about to like if it, like let's say if it was a video teaching you know all poor people how to literally get over on how to literally get 1000 a month from the government, like for real, for real, legit, but it's some shit they didn't tell us or whatever, right? 
that video might get pushed back. You get what I'm saying? For example, I'm not saying it probably would or not, but it's just for example, it's certain shit they don't want us to know. And then, you know, like the old saying, if you want to hide something, go put it in the book. Because everybody's not going to go through hella books to get the information. Like I was saying in my last video, you can Google how to do something, but they're going to give you hella steps. And the average person going to be like, ah, it's just too, I'm not about to do this right now. Even though the information right there, we in the information era, where you can learn anything you want to learn, like, ah, man, how do I, you know, how do I, shit, become mayor of my city? I can go look at the steps. How do I create my own neighborhood? How was the projects created? What are the steps that they took to create a neighborhood and project area? Whatever. <laughs> you can learn what they did. You can break it all the way down. Reverse engineer this stuff to the to the step by step. You know what I mean? You can do stuff. You can learn stuff. And that's why 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 do you think it's so why do you think it's not easy to to get a bag out here to get money like that for real? If you coming from scratch. You already got money. It's not hard to make money. Like I can I can I can you know, I can go throw a hundred thousand on the best, the best, most easy stock uh, piece of stock, uh, whatever you want to call it, stocks and bonds and all of that. I could put a hundred thousand on something that's for sure going to win, and that'll pay my rent every month at least, right? Keep that shit into the rotation. It'll pay my rent every month, or I could put a hundred. I could put if I had bread like that, you know, say so I could put a quarter million in my bank account and let it sit in the savings account and let the interest accumulate to pay off shit. However much I need to put in that bank account that'll generate a certain amount of money that I need every month, I could just put that much in there and let that do that. That It's free bands. You get what I'm saying though? My example is if you got money, it's not hard to make passive income, to make money. But coming from scratch, why do you think it's so hard? This is design design because we you know there has to be think if you was at the top there has to be a lower there has to be a lower class that acts as uh, like a machine that keeps everything running right because you know the lower class is going to do the dirty work to keep the machine doing this and these people up here are going to do the brain work. Right? It's just like that. Just like when I was in the warehouse. So you got to look at stuff from as above, so below. Like in the warehouse, the lowest level. That's how I came in. And I'm working the hardest. Making the less. The most less money. And I'm, I'm working the hardest in the whole building. That's how life is. I'm coming in like it's levels. The lower class at the warehouse is the one that's actually running the whole warehouse because, you know, they're packing the shit. They're going when the big companies make orders, the people who order selecting and stuff like that, they go get the orders. They pack it on the pallet. They wrap it up. They put it in the truck for it to get shipped off to the companies who bought the stuff. The people who's running stuff ain't doing that. They're taking calls, doing paperwork right so that's how life is the lowest level actually keeps the uh, system afloat running this whole system so of course that the higher the higher people up they need the lower level they need you to stay low they don't need you to level up and get smart why would they want that you're going to become competition. So that's another strategy. Keep people where they at. Make make people feel like where they at. If it's helping you, make them feel like that's the place to be. 
You get what I'm saying? If you have somebody working for you, don't you want to make them feel like working for you is good, even though maybe you making so much hella money from what they doing and you giving them a little percentage of it, but you want to make them feel like working for you is the shit. It's little tactics, man, and, and that's going on in business and just in the world. People feeling, oh, we're 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 raising uh, we're raising minimum wage by a dollar. People are celebrating, oh, right. But in the grand scheme of stuff, that's not nothing. That ain't nothing. Like what? Why you think they able to raise? Come on, man. Hold on, man. Hello? Hey, let me call you right back. All right. It ain't nothing, man. And I get it, though. We are, we gotta survive. But this my things don't change until you start getting strategic. Is what I'm learning. If I want to make this person sitting in this car over there get out their car, like you know what I'm saying, and 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 buy something from me or whatever, I gotta create a problem. I gotta create a problem. To where okay now this person feel like the only solution is to buy from me to, to solve that problem that's what that's what the politicians is doing that's what the top marketers and companies is doing I mean that's what shit your landlord everybody's doing this shit they capitalizing off people's problems and if, if uh, the, the hospitals Everybody's doing this shit. Medicine, like if you, if there is no problem, if everybody's, if this world was, you know, it's just pro problem free. Everybody living a nice little life. Nothing's going on bad. Do you know that they will create problems? So people need them. Or when I say them and all of that, you you pinpoint who I'm t you fill in the blanks of who I'm talking to. It could be, you know, what I'm saying whatever, man. You know, like whoever running the company, whatever, right? People, they want, they need us to need them. Like, if nobody ever got sick, the hospitals will go out of business. So that's that's another strategic plan. Create a problem that you have the solution to already. Make people feel like, oh shit, I have a problem. Yeah, I got the solution right here. And it costs this much money. You get what I'm saying? That's how you can kind of get past it. And I'm not saying do nothing like, I mean, I ain't telling you to do nothing that they not doing to us. Right? This is all this this is all business shit to me. This whole world is like a business, man, to me. Create a problem. I, I got the solution already. But I'm creating this problem so people can want what I got. Psychological warfare. Use propaganda. Tell stories. Um, you know, get people to think a certain way off of storytelling, uh, you know, videos, whatever, right? Get people to think a certain way so they can be thrown off from this real shit, the real, like, survival, right? And I can take them down if I want or I can keep leading them astray. I can, I can, they, where I want them now, once they thrown off, for example, and I'm I, I I believe in this, but it's like maybe they throwing us off, like the spirituality. 
You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe they pushing like law of attraction, all of this other stuff, different stuff. I believe in it, but I'm saying a lot of videos that's getting pushed out. Maybe because man, people was sucked in a lot, you know, being woke, all of that. Maybe that, okay, maybe that is one a small percentage of the truth. But people's living their life off of this. Maybe they thrown off to what they really should be doing over here because it's stuff going on. While people in La La Land kind of like, oh man, you know, I'm thinking about this life after this life. I ain't even worried. But it's stuff going on. And then you got babies that's got to still live here and still create and create. You're going to have a whole generation of people who are going to be here after you. But you're thinking about I'm about to be up out of here anyway, so it don't matter? Nah. What about the kids? They kids. They kids. That's your bloodline. And that's how they thinking. I, you can put they, who you, whoever you want. They to be is whatever it is. But that's how... You know what I'm saying? They think about the bloodline. Down the line. And they looking back before them. That's the old difference is they can trace. You feel what I'm saying? We got toe up as a black person. You know, they kind of uh, 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 our shit. You know, you got people feeling like, oh, I'm from here in America. I'm lit or my people is from here. And then you got other people like, oh, we're from Africa. Oh, we're from Egypt. We don't really know. You can look at features and tell where people from. But it's like my features I don't know where the fuck I'm really you get what I'm saying and it's like it's all that was the, it's the propaganda that's another tactic throw them off now they thrown off another one is to man it's so many tactics man I think I'm about to really like come with some shit man I'm gonna get into this real deep but it's so many tactics, man, to like, to thrive, to, you know what I'm saying? As a unit, though. And it's like, it's it's all psychological warfare, man. But I'm going to get up out of here, man. I got to call wifey back. I'm going to tap in, man. I've been kind of <laughs> on one lately doing videos. If you liking it, let me know. So I'll keep them coming, man. And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all in a second.